What's, What's up? up? Claude, tell them what we're doing today. Today we're going to go look at cars and hopefully purchase one. Um, I left my last job and I had a company car with them. So I obviously have to give it back. And so now I need to go buy a car because I need a car for my new job at Oasis. But don't have one since I've been in a company car for the past five years. Yeah, we haven't had, we've only owned my car and then like leased the cars to the company. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna go buy a new car. <laughs> All right, we're at the first place. It's a used car dealership. There's tons of different brands of cars here. So this is the first place we're stopping and we Wish have- just luck. We have a list of some things, but we're open to whatever is good and reliable. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Kalaz scoping out the trucks. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start driving this one Chevy Traverse first. Okay, so this is the Chevy Traverse and what the heck? This looks so good inside. Super roomy. Guys, look, two sunroofs. Plenty of room for a burning peat back there. <laughs> yep. All right, so you like that one? Yep, that was a great car. And you said there's plenty of the plenty of room in the front. Yep, plenty of room. Nice, yeah. The it's inside got the looks... racks. The racks come with it, I assume. Oh yeah. Anything yep. you see on it right now comes with it. Yes, loved it. This one's a Ford Explorer. Nice and big. Yeah. Has leather seats so that looks nice third row. nice let's see if it has room for Brenda Pete not a ton of room if we leave this row up so but, if you, put it down though, huh? but if you put it down then there'll be plenty of room for him you got enough room over there yep on your room. And then there's this massive sunroof and moonroof. Is that what they're called? Mm-hmm. Nice. Has the USB in the new iPhone one. I like the Ford Explorer, but you said you like the Traverse over the Explorer? Yeah, I just had like better vision in the mirrors and stuff on that one. Okay. And then like, yeah, just a couple of little things. They're both great though. Yeah. I just like them all because they're all like super good cars. <laughs> um, so <laughs> the sales lady made it so awkward. So we test drove three cars, the Traverse, the Explorer, and an F-150. And like, we've never bought a car from a dealership before. And so we were just like, so we wanted to run numbers to know like what our payment would be to see if like that's something Not we even want. run numbers. We wanted to know the price of the cars. She didn't even know the price of the cars. And I'm just like, well, how can I make a decision? We liked all three cars. Yeah, the cars were awesome. And one of them we really loved, but the other one was very similar, maybe just not as good. But I was like, if it's cheaper, then I'll just take that one, you know? Yeah. Anyways, so... Um so we went in there, she ran our, she gave the, our info to the people, ran our credit, ran our numbers, and she comes back and she's like, oh, we only ran one. So we wanted three cars info. She only gave us one and she's like, the other one's like $1,000 cheaper. So it's pretty similar. And then one, she was just like, oh, he only does two. Cause if you add three, like messes yeah, things up. And I was like. Yeah, confuse him or something or makes mistakes. And I'm like, okay, that's weird, but. Anyway, she's like, when we came back, we're like, okay, we're just gonna go to look at one more car at another dealership. She's like, Oh, I thought you were settled on this car and we were buying it. And I was like, you literally just told us the price of the car and you think that we're ready to buy it? Like, I don't know. And she was just like, it's cringy. <sighs> like, yeah, she like, like seemed super put off. And I'm just like, well, this is like a big deal. Anyways, it was weird. I like felt so uncomfortable. Yeah. But moving on with life, I shut it down real quick. I was like, oh no, we're not ready. We're looking at some more cars. It's only the second dealership we've been to. Like... Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead to the next dealership. Wish us luck. Less cringe, please. Oh, man. Okay, Colossal, what are you thinking so far about this truck? I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's brand new. 
price is a little. <laughs> we were little. not. Kalal last night said, "I'm not buying a brand new car. I'm just gonna get like." <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, yeah, those other cars are like close to the same, like price. eight grand less. Yeah. So it's like we might as well have a brand new car than a, a three-year-old used car. What's this? A Sierra? A GMC? GMC. 1500. I don't know. I don't know. It sits here on the know. back. I'm I not feel a like. car person. Anyways, we're going to go test drive this truck and we'll let you know how it goes. Yep. And if it gets cringe when the pricing comes around. <laughs> oh, I hate this. <laughs> I am so beyond stressed. I do not. I do not. I don't know, guys. Oh. Sorry. Guys, I am, can't handle the I am literally so flustered. Claude, just tell, what, how am I, tell him how, I mean, how am I doing? auto sales is a high pressure kind of thing, you know, because like once you sign, it's yours and you're, you're done, they get paid, you know? So they're trying to make the money and and I, I'm okay with the pressure. I'll just tell them no if I want to tell them I no. I can't handle the pressure. And Caitlin's just like, wait, wait, I don't know, I don't know. Because it's such, okay, I'm liking it. it's good, it. it works out well because then like, I look very engaged and committed <laughs> to it. So they like, they think we're super serious about it. They think it. I'm like clipping his wings. Yeah. <laughs> And, but Which we, is not but the case. But Caitlin gives us out of any situation because I'm like, hey, it's okay. <laughs> we'll we'll take a week and figure it out, or oh. we'll take two days. You know, I, no pressure. I us. do not do good under pressure. I will back out. I will back away when I start feeling pressure. So, but we really like Claudia. She's the been the best um, person yeah. we've dealt with yet. I think they're just. I don't know. They they have to sell cars. It's That's their just job. How it goes. But I just like I don't like the feeling of being pressured to like sign and buy a car right then and there i'm comparing buying houses and cars the same which i know that buying a house is way more money but like think about it i on a saturday i can go walk through six houses and our lender will tell us if you put this much down this is how much your payment will be every month and i like i like to know the details like i you know and so with cars i don't really feel like i'm getting all the details like i want to go home and tell kala if we pick this car it will be this much a month if we pick this car it might be a little bit more and so we might have to like not pay for disney plus and things like that that's what i like to do and yep. so that's what i want to do and then no one is really understanding that's how my brain works well that's because that's not how that industry works they're just trying to pressure you into buying it because once you sign they get paid and that's your car you know okay guys and if you walk out they're empty-handed we are going to a chevy dealership and that's what we're going to do next and we're going to go look at cars so we will see you guys in a little bit and tell you how that goes right, we're at the chevy dealership wish us luck i can't do this any this ugh, this hopefully is the last place that's for sure the last place we'll figure it out from there i don't know how people do this yeah people enjoy buying cars yeah one of my friends was like take me with you Kala. it's like a drug for me and he literally just bought a truck last week or no this week like this is not like fun. four I'm days not ago fun. and he's like i just want to go and buy another one okay we're here we're going in all right Kala just test drove the chevy silverado 1500 i think Okay, I'll show you guys inside. Got leather seats, a sunroof. Anyways, oh, heated steering wheel. Steering wheel. That's what sold me. Not much better. It's like 17 and then 23. What about the rental access? It's actually rough. All right. This is Kala's dream car, a Silverado. We're gonna test drive it. I have a really good feeling about it. Take a look at that box. What? Whoa. <laughs> have Vernon P hop up. Go ahead and lift that. I'll line this. Okay. I'll just back it up there. first. Okay. Oh, I like there's a lot of room back there. Loved it. Loved it? Yep. That's awesome. We bought a car. Just kidding. This is it. All new. 
No, just kidding. We uh, went to the third place today. Guys, we started at 9 a.m. and it's 3.23 and we haven't eaten and I'm so hungry. <sighs> Man, buying a car is no joke. No joke. Stressful. Yeah, I have. I do not enjoy this experience. I will probably not be doing it very often. We're going to go eat and talk about it. Thank you. Wish us luck. If you're in the market to buy a car, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh my, will you look at all of this? We're both home from work. It is Monday. Kala texted me this morning saying, are we getting a new car or a newer used car? So it's like he totally forgot what we agreed upon yesterday. We did agree yesterday to get a new one, but also we talked about some other stuff. So I just wanted to make sure that we're both on the same page again. Anyways, so, <laughs> yeah, we are going to go get Claude's dream car. Claude, do you remember a couple years ago I asked you what your dream car was and you said a Chevy Silverado? I do. But then I get on the phone today when I told Claude, I was like, I can't believe we're getting your dream car. Well, truck, getting your dream truck. He was like, I would have been happy with any truck, so. Yeah. But I remember him specifically saying Chevy Silverado. True. Anyways, we're on our way there and we're gonna go buy it. Hopefully if everything goes well, who knows? Who anything, knows? anything can happen. Car sales is an interesting world. Yeah, I absolutely hate it. All right, Claude, you just signed your My name. life away. Yeah, you just signed your life away. You signed your name. Yep. How do you feel? We've got some more paperwork, but I'm happy. I'm, okay. Yeah. You got your dream car. Yep. Truck. Got your dream truck. Dream truck. Just bought a new truck. <laughs> Your dream truck. Yeah, my dream truck. Silverado. And then we're coming and bringing it back to get leather seats, right? Yep, getting leather seats for so, the boys. Roomy in the back for all our friends. We're gonna get a uh, camper so the dogs can be a little bit safer in the back. They won't be back there until we have a camper. Yeah, they're not going in the back until there's a camper because there's no... I don't even want them in the back to begin with, but we're compromising. Yeah. And then here, here's everything, guys. Look at those cup holders. Woo! Look at all of them. Four. Anyways, Kalal loves it, and we're going to have leather seats, and it'll be so good. Oh, yeah. 